Hey guys, Grease 34 here. Coming to this part two video for low end uh, Ryu. Part one was I lower the front end down, which would look pretty sick, I think. Next is going to be the rear end. I'm going to take the tires off, jack it up, take off the differential, cut the chunks out, right in here, and make it go inside. Oh yeah, and the fender has got to be uh, chalk too. So, but I want to show you guys a little demonstration. The thing sounds pretty wicked with the uh, headers on it. Uh, no uh, kill switch yet, so. But yeah, they're pretty loud. It got tons of power. So you take off the old muffler. So now that gets to work. Unjack it up and take off the rear tires. Okay, I took the tires off. You wondering what size? These are 20 inch by 10 by 8. And they caught they got some uh, keyways and spacers. I'm gonna keep the diff open. I'm not gonna be a solid axle because with the front end welded on like that, you don't need it. So I'm gonna take this back cover off. I'm gonna get to the back part. I'm gonna take the transmission out, and I gotta take the battery and the battery box out because when the transmission gets raised up, it's gonna be in the way. So I gotta relocate the battery somewhere. Oh yeah, and the rear fender has gotta come off. So, let's get to doing that. That's off. Now I'm moving back. I'm gonna move this. Is that excess weight? This is excess weight. This whole steering uh, set up in here gotta be removed. We have two C clips on this side. One on this side. And I'm gonna remove this whole panel up here. And I'm gonna unbolt the transmission, move these brackets all the way up to here, and put it back again. Okay, now I got all that little piece of off. Except this one, because I come off with the transmission. Don't take the, these brackets off and those ones. I got the gear shrector off because that's going to have to be modified. And I got these jack stands underneath the floorboards. So when I, when I lower the differential down, the frame still stay up. Show you guys before I do it. This will be there. I'm gonna move it all the way up to about here. So I'm gonna notch the frame out so it'll slide up. So let's get to do that. Okay, guys, I got it all mocked out. I'm gonna be because that uh, those are bigger tires, they're not 18 than 20s. I'm gonna be uh, cutting six inches out of here. 
So I got a line here, I got a line down here to make it more like streamlined and cut this little triangle out so uh, it make it a little bit stronger. This is leaving a point edge right down here. So do that. Shall be good. So let's get to cutting. So now I'm going to take the, cut these about down here so there's only two bolts and then bolt that right up in here. And bolt the transmission back in. So let's do this. Okay guys, I got the brackets in. So let's get the transmission in. I might have to loosen the black a little bit to wiggle it in. Transmission is in. I'm gonna cut it a little bit off of here still. But yeah, it looks good. It'll be plenty strong enough. I'm gonna throw in these other brackets in there. I'm gonna go in these holes. And I can get the work on the jack shaft. But yeah, sweet. Okay, I got the brackets in. One on both sides. So that's nice and solid. There's no way that transmission ever gonna come out of there. So now I'm just gonna put the tires on and see where everything lines up. Tires on. Should be good. Let's see what happens when we, when we lower it down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think they're gonna raise the front end up a little bit. But yeah, it'll even itself out. But I want it to look like a oh, lot. Some pretty low to the ground. I'm happy. Don't look like a rat run. Oh yeah. Okay. It rolls nice. And yeah, yeah. So next up, jack shaft. It'll be pretty easy. I'm gonna probably cut this about here. Want a piece of L-shaped uh, L steel. One on the top, one on the bottom, two pillow block bands. I'm thinking a one inch axle, maybe three quarter. Probably one inch. 
a pulley on the top, pulley on the bottom. So one pulley would go uh, to this pulley. This will be tight belt. No crutch up here. And then on the bottom, it will go straight to the motor. So let's do this. Hey guys, back working on the racing rear. 18.5 horsepower. It's been a whole day because it rained hard. So, but yeah, I got this mocked up. I'm gonna drill two holes in here so I can uh, bolt my uh, pillow box bands like this. As you can see, that's what it's gonna look like. And uh, another piece of channel in the day I got mocked up. It's gonna be another one gonna be down here. But I'm gonna make it uh, above the pulleys so you can take the belt off without taking anything else off. So it'll be a single belt this way and one on the bottom going to the motor. But yeah, just want to let you know. So I'm gonna take this out, drill two holes so I can bolt that in, half inch holes, and weld this solid in and then do the, do the bottom the same. I'm gonna drill both in the same. Drill this one and that one at the same time so we get the perfect alignment. So I'll catch you when I get that done. Okay guys, I got them welded in. Nice tight fit, they're perfectly even. And now I can take my uh, pillbox band and bolt it in like this. And the second one I'm going to flip around and bolt it in like this. So, then I can put my jack shaft there. So, I'd get to do that. Okay, I got it in. It was a pain to get at, but it'll be fine. Next one I'll throw is jack shaft in. I got a keyway carved into it. These are uh, pillow bog bearings, so them uh, go with the really help you out. Build something like that. Oh yeah, that's sweet and it's strong. And I put these cars on, tighten everything down to the correct height, and then I'm gonna find some pulleys. So I'm gonna throw on it. Yeah, the pulley gonna be here. Going to this pulley. And then there's the one on the bottom. Okay. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys. I got it. Uh, four couplings holding it on. The one inch tighteners. It spins fucking mint. So, back here we got a four inch pulley. I'm thinking about swapping it out to a three inch. We'll see. Then uh, over here I got a nine inch pulley with a one inch uh, bore. So I'm thinking that will slide right on like this. And that will be driving it. Yes, I'm thinking that will do fine. And down here, to, uh, the, the one on the motor is a uh, two inch. So I'm thinking down here to have a uh, a two inch or a three inch. The smaller it is, the faster you go. And up here, the bigger you are, the more fast you go. So yeah, that should really get the speed boost up. Okay, time to do it. There we go, guys. The pulley on, and I got a belt on it right now. Nice, nice and tight. You don't want it to slip. 
<coughs> so yeah, nine inch going down to a four inch. I'm thinking going down to a three inch if I needed more speed. But I think this would be fast. And down here, I gotta go find a uh, pulley. I'm thinking a three inch or two inch. Let's see what we can find. Hey guys, I got a three inch pulley here. A deep, deep belt. The belt will ride deep in there. And it's the same, it's a, it's a three inch too. I measured it. So at a one to one ratio down here. And how I uh, align them, you get your trandy dandy uh, level. You put it right against the pulley, and you look on this side, it go right against that pulley. Make sure it touching on both sides. We got how I align them, and they are perfect. And how I did on the back side here. Yes, 9 inch to uh, 4 inch. So it should get some speed to it. I don't know if it will do 60, but I can always change this one. I can always change the one on the transmission to a uh, 3 inch or a 2 inch. But we'll see how this goes. I'm going to go throw a belt on and get the fenders on. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Okay, let's get this done. Hey guys, I'm back. Got the fenders bolted on. I had to cut edge off the fender because it wouldn't fit. As you can see. And I took a piece of pipe and I rolled it in there so the about an inch of clamps. And then under the seat, I'm going to straight bolt it onto the bracket. And then uh, I didn't put no springs in because uh, it's like raking down. So the gear mechanism for shifting, I took a, th uh, a 3 8 socket. It fits right onto the little square shaft down there. I well that two piece of pipe with a little bracket. And I drill a hole right through. I put a uh, 7 16 bolt all the way down. And then I got a shaft going here, and that for the gear mechanism. It's super smooth. So, I'm gonna go try it out now. See what happens. So, let's start it up.
we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna cut, undertake the hood and put it back on. I'll probably have to cut it a little bit. But yeah, it runs pretty good. Around the yard, only when I was only in second gear, so this thing gonna be fast. I'm hoping like for 40 to 50. I really want 60, but I don't think it's gonna happen right now. I had to switch a pulley. But okay, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it gave you some good ideas. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.